pizza time. Welcome back everyone, uh, here I am again uh, in my kitchen for another pizza time. As you probably saw in uh, one of my last videos, uh, we went through a quick pizza mod for this oven, but today we're going to do another mod that should guarantee us much higher temperatures and therefore have even better results when cooking our pizza. What we will um, need to do is to say, disable one of the two thermostats that we have here, uh, which limits the temperature to 300 degrees Celsius and we will change the calibration of the other thermostat in order to have the resistance turned on for longer time. So, follow me and let's have a look on what we need to do. So, first thing to do, let's unplug the cable first from the power socket and then let's have a look at the back of the oven. So you should see two rows of uh, screws. We just need to unscrew the three on the top. So we now need a small screwdriver like this one for helping us in removing the sticker that we have here. We just have some silicone now to take off from inside. And here is the final piece. Very patiently. We will see now the small screw so let's remove that now the next thing to do will be to remove this handle here in order to access the first thermostat and we can do that by removing this screw right here Okay, what needs to be done now is to disable this thermostat. We can do that first by removing this cable here. From here and from this section as well. We don't need this cable anymore. And then we just move this side where we took off the other one, just like so. Okay, the first part of the mod is now completed. Let's move on to the calibration of the second thermostat. Before moving forward to the next thermostat, let's put this back again. is fine. Now again to the three screws on the back. That's it. Now this is the phase that will probably take us most of the time with the help of a needle or a toothpick. We need to uh, scratch a little bit inside here in order to remove the silicone that we have. So let's proceed carefully. Now 
Let's start first with the external sides and then go a little bit into the center and try to get rid of these uh, remaining silicone we have. Okay, I was able to remove it. I just need to grab it out here. Okay, here is the final piece. We can see it here. So with the help of a flashlight or a phone, we can check if there is anything left inside. If not, we should just see a screw and we are able to proceed. If you have additional silicone, let's proceed until you get rid of everything. You might have the issue that the silicone will break in thousands of pieces, like it happened to me. In that case, I found useful to use a Dyson at full speed. just to remove the excess and now we are ready to alter the calibration of the thermostat as you can see here i put some white paint in order to make the indicator even more visible so now with this very small screwdriver we need to turn the screw little by little with an anti-clockwise rotation just few millimeters so what we want to achieve here is that the thermostat will uh, be triggered between the zero and the second dot. We will uh, know that uh, by uh, the light as soon as it will turn on. We will know it will uh, work. For doing that, obviously, we need to plug the power cable. But let's use the screwdriver first. Okay, let's test it now. Okay, we need to turn it a little bit more. Let's try again. Turning on, but on the third dot, let's adjust it once more. Some few millimeters and should be fine. Now for the final test. Adjust another millimeter and then we can close it. Yeah. Now, as you can see, it's turning on on the first dot, so that's fine. Okay, the mod is now done. Let's just close it now. Let's screw this back. Let's be very gentle. We don't need to push too much force in it. Now, the final step will be simply to put the sticker back in place, just like so, and the mod is done. Now time for testing. So now in order to test if everything is working fine, we simply need to plug the power cable, turn it at the maximum, so to the highest value that we have, and within 15 or 20 minutes uh, we should be able to get at the very center of the stone a temperature between 480 and 500 uh, degrees Celsius, sometimes even more, so we will check it uh, with this device in 15 minutes. Okay, after about 20 minutes we can see that the light is off, so we are ready to check the temperature. Okay, that's fine, 500 degrees. 
we're ready to cook our pizza. Our mod was successful. In case you guys don't reach this kind of temperatures, you just need to go back in here and uh, proceed in unscrewing a little bit counterclockwise, just a few millimeters at a time, as we saw already. Proceed in doing that until you get the temperatures mentioned. As we can see, we have a very nice fresh buffalo mozzarella for our test. So as we saw with this mod, we can reach an incredible temperature of 500 degrees or more at the very center of the stone. Obviously, at the sides uh, will be a little bit lower. Nevertheless, for cooking a pizza now on this specific stone, we need to reach around 390 and 420 degrees. If we have the original stone a bit lower, so we are around 300, 320, 360 degrees. Nevertheless, uh, we will try to reach about 360, 380, not more. And uh, we're gonna cook uh, our pizza for around 150 to a maximum of 180 seconds. So let's go! In the meantime, our pizza dough is ready after 24 hours of uh, rising. Okay, let's start with the first pizza dough. Temperature is currently around 300 degrees, so we're almost there. Tomato sauce, olive oil and uh, salt already in. Few slices of buffalo mozzarella. Okay, it's time. Maximum three minutes, as we said. Let's go. One final check. 360, 370. As we said last time, the oven needs to be closed during the, this wall process, otherwise this will cause an extension of the cooking process. 45 seconds left. Okay, 10 seconds left. Should be ready. Now it's starting to have really a nice, uh, nice look. Final touch will be a couple of leaves of uh, basil. Olive oil. That's the final result. It's also well cooked below, as you can see. Not burnt. I would say we can be pretty satisfied with that. What do you think? We are ready now for the final pizza dough. The second, the last one. And for this second pizza, we're gonna use yellow tomatoes that I have right here. Again, buffalo mozzarella. Okay, we're ready again. Three minutes as usual. Let's just sit and wait. Okay, two minutes enough. I think uh, we can already take it. Here is our result. Olive oil again, and it's ready. Now, as we can see, it's a great achievement, but it's still not perfect, since it's still not well burned evenly. So that's because of the resistance here. It's not as powerful as we need. So probably I will need to do another mod
you can see here, I was able to pull back this uh, steel cycle. I just needed the bigger screw here on the left. And now it's just fine. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope this uh, mod was useful for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have any question for me. So as you can see, the oven is perfectly fine. It uh, didn't explode yet. So please stay tuned for future mods and subscribe below, hitting the bell for being notified. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.